Hey everybody, this is Technoli, and today we've got a really interesting test to do. I have been fighting with wanting to know just how bad the old school spinning hard drive is against a SATA SSD against an M, M.2, but not NVMe, and then an NVMe mounted on this PCIe board. Just what's the difference in performance? Well, we're going to find out. Stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, I've got all of these hard drives installed. So here I've got a Kingston. This is an M.2. And then this is a standard Seagate 320 gigabyte mechanical drive. This Kingston is the SATA SSD. And then this one right here, Sabrent, I think that's what it's called, not sure. That is an MVME M.2 on that PCIe daughter board. So let's start with the booting of the mechanical drive. Okay, here we go. Now I have to admit, when I was getting ready for this video, I was beyond frustrated with just how slow a mechanical drive is. And I cannot believe that manufacturers still put them in computers. I mean, come on. Look at this performance. This is ridiculous. So, I think you'll agree that in 2020, it's no more mechanical drives. We're still waiting, we're still waiting, we're still waiting, we're still waiting. By the way, this is a clean Windows 10 install on all of these drives. The only thing that I put on them was Crystal Dismark. So we could do some tests on the Dismark. So there it is, Mechanical HD. And we're still waiting for it to come up. Now I've done other videos that have showed you guys how slow Mechanical Drive is. I don't think we need to go into times, but you can see right here that this is the kind of frustration that people get with, you know, their computer getting older. And with just a simple SSD upgrade, you could really get better performance. So here we are, we're on the desktop. So here's my Crystal Dismark 7, version 7. We're gonna run it, but I'm gonna let this thing catch up because you see down here on the taskbar, it's still kind of booting. Okay, we've got everything up here. All right, so I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. All right, so let's do a test. And we're just going to do just a quick series on all. So when this is done, we'll come back. All right, here's our results. So I'm just going to go with the high numbers on the top. Our read on this was 100.03 and our write 70.26. Dismal. Okay, enough bashing mechanical hard drives. All right, so let's go ahead and restart. And we're gonna now start with the, let's pick the SATA SSD. This is a Kingston drive. And uh, I'm gonna press F11 on this keyboard. This is an ASRock down here at the bottom, the SATA SSD, the Kingston, 400 gigabytes. All right, so let's go. Now well, let's see if this is tolerable. It should be. Okay, we're coming up to the boot screen. That was a whole lot quicker. Wow. Okay, I think everyone can agree that that is the way things should go. Okay, so let's do Crystal Dismark on this one. We'll do the same exact test, okay? And as soon as we get done with this, we'll come back. Okay guys, so 
pretty amazing that the read speed, the write speed actually, is faster than the read speed on this particular drive. But anyways, let's go with 383.18 and on the read and the write at 457.80. So, almost four times faster than the mechanical drive, and it is almost five times faster on the re on the right. So amazing! This number was seventy on the uh, ID or on the uh, on a mechanical drive. Okay, let's go to the next one. We're gonna do the onboard M.2. Now this is not an MVME. Okay, this is just a regular M.2. It also is a Kingston, 240 gigabyte. Just a, a, a cheap, you know, M.2 SSD. All right, so let's see, there it is right there. Okay, let's boot from it. And, oh, well, I'm very happy with that, I would say. That was seconds. Okay, let's do Crystal Dismark. And same test, all, and we'll come back when this is done. And here are the results on our M.2 that's on the motherboard. Pretty amazing. All right, we have one final test. That is the daughter board that I bought off of Amazon. And uh, this plugs into the PCIe slot I showed you before, but this has an MVME drive on it. So let's go ahead and get that started. Power down, restart. F11, okay, here we go. From the PCIe NVME. Wow. Nice, yeah. That feels uh, just as fast as the onboard M.2. But let's see the performance. Remember, this is an MVME. Here we go. Okay, well, while this is finishing up, let's recap. So, on the mechanical drive, we had a write speed of 100.03 megabytes a second. We had a write speed of 70.26. On the SSD SATA, we had 383.18 read, but we had, which was weird, 457.80 write. Then on the M.2 onboard, now this is without MBME, is 1940.27 on the read and the write was 981.17. Then on this drive, NBME on a PCIe slot, which by the way, I did put this particular drive in the M.2 on board and got the same exact numbers. So it goes to show you that using a PCIe slot daughter board NVMe drive, it really doesn't give us any speed difference on this particular board putting it in the M.2 slot. So we had 3,241.77 read and 1,250.37 write. So what does this tell us? It tells us mechanical drives are done. It tells us the SSD SATA is a huge improvement, especially if your motherboard doesn't support or doesn't have an M.2 on board, that the M.2 on board is definitely faster. And then let's say you've got a motherboard where the M.2 slot is broken, doesn't work for some reason. You could get this daughter board, put it in a PCIe slot and get just as good, if not better performance, as if your M.2 slot was good. So I hope this helped you out, it sure helped me out. Now, you're gonna have speed differences depending on manufacturers. You know, everybody swears by the Samsungs. I do too, they're more expensive. But with my channel, I'd like to try to show people budget alternatives to get you really good performance at a great price. 
So hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.